And don't try and make a headline. I'm we'll not trying to make a headline, lead, Eddie. Right? Anyway, so, mate, there'll be more. Help, there'll be more in it, footy classified but they must tonight. Stick with their supporters, okay? Righto, Eddie. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> wow, there, mm. there you go. A number of uh, messages coming through. Lots of questions to ask you. We might take some tweets, Rosie, because a lot of people are wanting to join in this conversation. This one came through last night, Ed, from Paul By. Uh, Tony Jones is a tight ass, apparently. Sounds like he wants his money back. He's been banging on about this for weeks on radio. Give him his membership back, Ed, and shut him up. Go Blues. I do understand if people can't afford future instalments. Yeah, fair enough. And we've, we're all for that. My point is, though, that uh, it, it's not just a, a, an ATM that can spit the money out. It's like if you go to a bank. If you ever run on the bank, nominally they actually have the money They're there, but they can't actually hand it all over in one go. Uh, Tony did make a point there. He said, love your club. You don't have to put your hand in your pocket. Uh, that's Tony's position because he's not a member. So it's not like I can give him his money back because oh. he's not even a member. Um, he, he, who, who and, and I don't mind that necessarily because if uh, if you're in a journalist, you can then say, oh, I don't want to have a conflict of interest. Sure. But, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's quite tenuous, that one, I would have thought. But uh, no, yeah. uh, as I've said, there does, we do this all the time with people every year, as I mentioned there, with people if they've fallen on hard mm. times. But this is about a mm. membership. It's not a, a transaction. It's not like you're actually for, for a refund. The, the memberships actually keep your life for 12 months of the year. So a lot of our members have actually put their money in, started uh, putting their membership in in October to us. Well, that money's been spent to keep the place open until this time. We're, we will help people. Of course we will. We will help them. But I'm just begging people, if you want your club to survive, it's your club. That's what a club membership base is all about. So not uh, unsympathetic at all, Ed, to the amount of people who are really struggling at the moment. But as you not. said, the, the, the future of... Collingwood Football Club and the, the Bulldogs Football Club means that anyone who can stay the course at the moment, we're desperate to try. And so what, what, totally. what you're saying you can't afford is a, is a run on this at this particular stage. And in the individual that's cases, it. you try and help them. That, that's... Of course you do, Das. I mean, we've deferred people's memberships plenty of times through hardship. It, it happens all the time. As I keep saying, we're not the ATO. You know, we're not even the ATO showing compassion at the moment. Um, <laughs> what I'm saying is, we, we, this is a club. It's you know, as I made the point, it's not like some, I'm some oligarch who's diving into a pond of money. We're 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 all trying to work it out as well. Best that's what we you can. do on. On your private life. Well, well, my my, my private life's my own task, but yeah. you know. But my point is that you know people give of what they can. That's always been the situation. What has been the story? And this is the thing that I got the. I, I must admit, I just I, I really got a, a narked last night. I've had the media go after the players, go after the officials, you know, ahead of time, you know, casting aspersions at them, and and yet they they do the right thing. The clubs are all there trying to do the right thing at the moment. Everyone's trying to survive. But to try and pick that fight, I mean, the story that should be being told is we're getting more and more people ringing up to us, buying memberships in the memory of their late grandfather, yeah. who was a great mm. Collingwood person. Uh, you know, Fingers Finlay rang me last night from Essendon and said uh, they've never had more Essendonians four going to have 10,000 because they yeah. know the club needs it at the moment. Jeff Kennett tells me no one has asked for their refund at Hawthorne Football Club and on it goes. Now, if people are doing it tough, of course, that's the situation. But don't forget, the football clubs, it's a minimal charge to come to the games because we try to keep it as best as we can. We play at a, a stadium that's got 100,000 people or 55,000 people so we can get as many people in as we possibly can at the cheapest price. It's not like football clubs go out to rip people off. And it is just a wonderful thing. I mentioned that kid. I was seriously, I was driving last night and you wouldn't believe it. There's a kid walking down the street with his mum and dad uh, having a bit of their stroll around the neighbourhood. And he's got his Essendon socks on, his black shorts and his mm -hmm. Essendon jumper. He would have been about seven years of age. And I suppose that's what fired me up a little bit, to be honest, because I was thinking about him, how his club there, he's got, he already loves his club and he's dreaming of maybe playing for him, Darcy. And it's like your club that yeah. nearly went out of business. You know, the dogs now have got so much to give to society. I'm obviously intimately involved in it. I'm passionate about what football does for the community. And that's why I jumped a bit last night because I don't want to see more and more of this divide and conquer in the journalism yeah. world. It is all about trying to get hero and zero. And if you're going to invite me on the Nine News, let me put what I was going to say in context. Don't try and trip me up with a yes, no answer that is a lot more complicated and it needs to be explained more than that. Now, the, if you go back to what I said there, I said this, I said it in the first line. Tony, if people have got issues, go to your club. They'll look after you. And then I, I went into explain why that was the situation. But some people didn't love, want to hear it. 
the opportunity to do that on the hot breakfast. We love taking your calls. You heard uh, that discussion, one triple three five three. So many footy members out there in the Triple M family will take all your calls right after this. It's 12 minutes past seven. This is Triple M's Hot Breakfast.